Hi, I'm Tommy Webster. I'm a Deputy Director of Response and Recovery for Tetra Tech. I want to do a quick overview of your statewide disaster debris management contracts. These are free event statewide contracts procured through the state of Vermont Building and General Services. They're one year contracts uh, originally procured uh, in January of 2023 on through December of 2024. They have two one year renewal periods. They're two CFR compliant, so they're Code of Federal Regulations compliant. Primarily, they're used for federally declared disaster events. Notice to proceeds are usually issued from the State of Mercy Management as well as Vermont DEC. Municipalities are required to enter into a memorandum of agreement with the state. Task orders are then issued from the state for these individual municipalities. The exact same terms, uh, conditions, and scope will be utilized. So that's the one thing to understand is whatever the scope is in the original contract cannot be customized for municipality. It is the exact same scope, exact same terms and conditions. The two contractors selected for these tasks are Ceres Environmental. Their scope items consist of debris removal, debris management, debris disposal, and debris site remediation if so necessary and Tetra Tech, the company I work for. Our scope items consist of debris monitoring to monitor all the debris that's removed from public and private property, debris eligibility determination to make sure that all the debris that's removed is FEMA eligible, regulatory documentation to make sure that we can back up all the project data from the debris removed, the data management of all that, we capture everything electronically. So we'll be able to manage that documentation for backup for your submittal to FEMA for reimbursement at a later time. And then the invoice reconciliation. So all the invoices that Ceres would submit for payment, we would reconcile those invoices initially and then send the state a recommendation for payment once everything is settled. Just a little bit about the federal declaration process. So FEMA will equate a dollar amount per population of the state and the county. So for the state, it's $1.84 per person. For the counties individually, it's $4.60 per person. So for the state of Vermont, just under 650,000 people, it's $1.183 million worth of damage to public property. And the same way individually for the counties, you can see the numbers. There's a representation there for the Northeast, Northwest, and the South portion of the state. So that means that both of those numbers, the county number and the state number has to be breached in order to qualify for federal reimbursement. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak, and we are proud to be a part of the state's emergency management team. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions anytime in the future. Thank you.